and what's going on guys it is got an itch on my nose check day two december i want to say it's 15th i'll double check but uh just going back down here on the property i'm gonna do the river setup first just because there were some random dogs running up by the other one so i wanted them to clear off before i went in there but uh yeah, so we're going to go check these four traps that I have and see if we got anything. So we will uh, get the camera back up and running when I get to the first well. Now you just get to hear me ramble a little bit because it's a little bit closer than I thought. But I was here hunting last night. And uh, just for reference, the field that you guys can just barely see is where I have that big food plot that I put in earlier. And uh, there were three bucks that came in. It's pretty cool. Young bucks, all of them, but it was cool to see some deer moving. I've been a while since I've been in the deer woods. Well, that's stinking cool. I have a double in the cage trap. Look at that, guys. That one in the front right here. That joker is big. Wow, okay. We got ourselves a double. And we'll go check that other one. We'll come back for those, for those two. That's pretty cool. That is uh, raccoon number three and four off the farm. Very cool. So, river is a lot higher today. Gonna have to be a little bit more careful crossing here. I don't think it's gonna go over my boots. But when, when, when we get as much rain as we did, it's sometimes pretty tricky crossing this creek, but yeah, no issues. That's a good place to cross. And coming up on the other trap. Nothing in it. We're going to give it a little bit more time on this area. But it just seems that Nothing's too interested in this set as of yet. No big deal. Let's go get those two raccoons out of the live trap. That's pretty cool. Seeing two and two in one trap. I guess a big trap. You can kind of get a size comparison now compared to me. I guess it paid off. Well, we'll get these guys dispatched and we'll head up to check the other two on the opposite side of the property, guys. Marshmallows. All right. Just got done resetting that cage trap down there on the creek. Now we're heading up to check the, the other two sets up here kind of in the timber. So, creeks way down there, in case you were wondering. But, um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool catching two in one trap. I didn't think that was a thing. So, we'll see if we got any more up here. But I think if this cage trap doesn't have anything, I called them live traps yesterday. Don't really know what they're called. <laughs> I guess both of those make sense but if this cage trap is still not hit I'm probably going to move it because those are easy to move let's see if we got anything here nothing in the dog proof but got tune number three in the live trap cage trap in that trap 
Let's see if anyone hit this one over here. No, not been touched. All right, well, let's get set up. Get a better shot of this guy in the live trap. And uh, get a reset. This trap is much smaller, but that is raccoon number three. We'll get him dispatched and reset. And uh, I guess we'll leave them right where they're at. They're catching. Raccoon number five off the property are on check day two. No complaints there. There's a quick reset on that cage trap. Baited with marshmallows. Pretty effective. Decent sized coon in this one too. So we'll get them down to the car, get them all lined up for y'all and uh, head back to the house. Time to go to work. Here we have the catch of the day. This one right here is beautiful. Without a doubt, I think anyway. Just a really nice coat on it. The other two are a little bit smaller. This one I think got messed up quite a bit in that cage trap, real matted up. So I'll have to see what to do about him. But uh, not too bad. Three raccoon kind of day. I really appreciate you watching these videos and uh, it's kind of fun learning a new way of trapping and going after a new species. That's uh, five raccoons off the family farm um, in two days. I'll take that. I think I just, yeah, I just talked to my brother and let me know what you guys think. But, you know, if I take 10 off, if I try to take 10 off in about a week, uh, I feel like that's doing quite a bit for the turkey population. I don't know if there should be a goal or a number. This isn't really for um, money, this is more for wildlife management practices and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm going to keep the fur and I think it's super pretty and I'll work with it anyway. It's just not, from what I understand, it's not worth hardly anything beyond what it's worth to me. So, but please like, please subscribe. All those things are really helpful to me. And, uh, I can't, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys watching and it, you know, I'm, I'm seeing more and more different trappers subscribe to mine and I'm learning more about trapping up in Maine and, Man, this is a really cool experience and I appreciate every second of it and uh, I hope you guys too. Have a great day.